Every year, Mercer Center for Collaborative Journalism hosts a camp to get students from all around the country interested in journalism. This year's theme for the center? Food. Junior journalist Anna Brookkiesler went to see how these students were focusing on becoming the future of media. High school students from around the nation are gathering at Mercer to get first-hand experience of what the day-to-day -day life of a journalist is really like. Yeah. Rising senior Colette Kenya says she's been learning about the media for over five years, but never quite like this. I never had a teacher who taught us how to do these things. It was kind of, okay, here's a camera, figure it out. But the Center of Collaborative Journalism is putting the students through a boot camp of sorts, learning everything from writing to audio and, of course, how to shoot video. Junior Kalia Raming says there's a lot of misconceptions about how the job really works. I think a lot of people think that it's easy. It's actually quite hard <laughs> sometimes because you have to, especially like with taking photos, you have to properly set it up and that's that can be difficult because you have to account for skin tones and you have to account for lighting. But it didn't take long for her to focus in and get the hang of things. When you get in the zone, like when you're actually there, it's so freeing in a sense. Saying her passion comes from the ability to make an impact in her community. Just like Kalia, I chose journalism because I want to make a difference. And that's exactly what Mercer is doing here at the Center for Collaborative Journalism. Every year, the school picks a theme for their students to focus their stories around, last year's being music. And so for the next year, we're going to be looking at food, we're going to be looking at access to food, health issues about food, and the history and culture of food. And we thought it would be really fun to like sort of kick that project off with our high school campers. Because what better way to reach people's hearts than through their stomachs? In Macon, junior journalist Anna Burke Kiesler, 13 WMAZ News. Each of the students will be ending the camp by turning in a package of their work, including a video, picture, and written story to showcase their growth.